Can we build a machine to get this USA made SK tool ratchet all the way to Great Star Tools in China? Stick around, let's go find out. All right, here we go. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. Today, we're gonna to be testing out the SK Tools 3 8 inch drive USA made ratchet. Now, SK Tools was recently bought out by Great Star Tools and they're headquartered in China. And before we see if we can get this seaworthy or actually airmail worthy in this case, we need to send this through four different tests. Things that we're gonna focus on are how smooth or how light is the amount of back drag on the SK Tools 3 8 inch drive LP90 teardrop fixed head eight inch ratchet. This ratchet happens to have a 90 tooth ratcheting mechanism and we're gonna be doing the first click gear slack test where we measure the theoretical versus the actual degrees of engagement for the arc swing. We'll be load testing to not only 150 foot pounds or 202 Newton meters and making sure there's no deformities or issues or lockups. We're also gonna be testing this up to 200 or 220 foot pounds. And finally, we'll be measuring the ball detent tension where we measure the amount of force required to remove a socket from the tool. Now let's get to seeing if this SK Tools is the next tool for you and just how far we can make it to Great Star Tools in China. Now testing out the ball detent might seem like a very trivial thing, but by the time you use one of these smaller sockets, maybe you get some fluid, some grease on your hands, these sockets can actually be pretty difficult to take off because of their size. In this case, we're gonna be using one socket consistently for all the brands that we test We'll make sure that that ball detent is always forward, and then we'll go ahead and test to see just how much force is required to take off that socket. Now, unfortunately, this scale does not capture that peak value. We're gonna go ahead and freeze the frame and see that it took 11.8 pounds of force to remove the socket. Now, how does that compare to something else? Now, we didn't get a chance to test this on the Icon ratchet that we previously tested. There'll be a link up above in the cards as well as down below in the description. And we'll go ahead and get this one tested and see how the SK Tools compares to the Icon. And then we'll go ahead and track this data for all the next tools that we continue to test. The Harbor Freight Icon took roughly 8.82 pounds of force to have the socket be removed from the ball detent in the tension test. Now this isn't necessarily a good thing, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just information to help arm you should you want your socket to be easier to remove or more difficult, say it binds up on a nut or a fastener and you don't want it to remove from the ratchet itself, you might want to pick one that has more force. The choice is really up to you. Who makes the smoothest ratchet? when it comes to looking at the least amount of back drag. Now we're not talking about the clicking you hear, we're talking about the actual movement of engagement so that you can remove or tighten your fastener. Now these forces are really tiny, they're measured in inch ounces with this torque screwdriver here, and let me put into perspective the amount of forces we're talking about. If you were to take an apple for example and twist off the stem, you can see that it's roughly around two inch ounces and maybe we'll peak around four inch ounces before twisting off. Now on the higher side, looking at this screw on the wall switch plate, you're not gonna be exerting more than eight or nine inch ounces. Do keep in mind, all these values are subject to change based on wear usage and break-in. It even comes down to the fact that, you know, sometimes these ratchets aren't lubricated from the factory the way we'd like them. So we did open this up. We put in Super Lube Multi-Use Synthetic Oil, and we're gonna go ahead and test this. Ultimately, they're gonna produce some pretty high numbers when it comes to the back drag. Everything seems really tight internally and we're producing well over eight inch ounces, sometimes upwards of 10, making the SKLP90 ratchet 
in the upper 50% of ratchets for having a high amount of back drag. Now don't let this put you off because it might test really well in the next test. The first click gear slack test measures the theoretical versus the actual degrees of movement. The SK Tools ratchet is a 90 tooth ratchet, so it theoretically has a four degrees of movement needed to move the handle to engage the next tooth. We can see that we cleared things out, started, and we're gonna move slowly here, and we're gonna see just how much movement it takes to move that ratchet to the next click. We'll wait for it, listen, and you can see that it's roughly right around six degrees of movement for the actual versus that four degree theoretical. And when we put things to rest, you can see we come out at roughly around 4.10 degrees, difference of about 1.90 for re-engagement. We'll go ahead and test things again, and we can see that this roughly clicks over again at around six degrees for movement, and then it comes back and rests at roughly about a 1.95 degree for re-engagement. So first test and the second test average out is an actual of six degrees versus the four degrees theoretical with that re-engagement at roughly 1.925 degrees. So not too bad, really liking it. So now we're gonna move on to my favorite part, load testing. We're gonna put some wood shims here in the SK Tools ratchet make sure that it stays exactly where we want it to. And we're gonna start off the load testing. Hopefully we can meet and exceed ASME spec or ANSI spec, which means we just have to simply hit 150 foot pounds, which actually isn't really too impressive. Most manufacturers refer to, we wanna get 125 or 150% of all these, you know, ISO, whatever standards out there. You can see it comes in really, really well. No issues at 155 foot pounds, everything moves and spins freely. Now we're gonna ramp it up here a little bit. We're gonna hopefully get it over 200 foot pounds, maybe right around 220 foot pounds. We'll see where we land. We'll ramp things up here and see where it lands. We again did shim out the SK Tools ratchet and we're testing it out here with the load testing. And once we back off some of the torque, comes in right around 221 foot pounds. We better test this out and make sure everything is still functional, which means it's definitely gonna be better than some of the round head ratchets that SK Tools makes. I know I had one that was older that tested out a little bit under this. So SK Tools LP90, their newest version, that pair head shape testing out really, really well. Now we're gonna ramp things up to failure. We'll give you a couple different point of views here and hopefully we can achieve maximum liftoff and the ultimate strength to fling this thing all the way to Great Star Tools in China. Let's give it our best. So we achieved liftoff and hit roughly 325.7 foot pounds, making this the strongest ratchet, sending it about 17 feet in the air before it landed, making sure to remind you, you shouldn't attempt this at home. Clean anvil shear, by the way. Very nice. Now we'll come in and we'll check out the totality or the actual failure points on the SK Tools ratchet. Of course, we can see that we did shear off the drive anvil. Looks like a perfect, nice shear. And we can see by our ratchet diagram, we're gonna to have to remove two hex screws. We can use a metric number two, or if it's an SAE, it's roughly a 560 forts. One thing to mention is that the selector switch was thoroughly trash, which means that when we had the aftershock of that drive anvil breaking, it probably sent the ball detent into the pin. It's probably bottomed out. We'll find that out here very, very shortly. So we did have our pole fall out. Looks like there is no issues with the pole. Internally, it's really nice to see the milled out notch for the gear which kind of reduces some of the play in there. But if you use a super thick grease, it's gonna bind up or slow things down. So just be mindful of that. Everything looks good there. 
and internally we can see that yeah we did destroy the detent on the selector switch so we'll go ahead and put in a new rebuild kit here so based on how everything's frozen up in there I wasn't able to pull out the detent pin which means we're just going to try to give this a swift kick in the pants and see if we can just punch it out of there which we are almost there. So we're just gonna beat that out. And looks good as new. So you have your new selector switch. Drop that ball in there. And thankfully it does not fall out on the other side. And we'll go ahead and insert this. And then we'll need to put our spring detent in there. So we add our spring. And then finally our detent. We can add lubrication as needed. And we'll need to add the pawl to that. And then this is sometimes kind of a two-handed job. We hold that down. Get that in there and then we should be good. Seems like we're ready to go. Already really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. SK Tools performed really, really well today, being one of the strongest ratchets that we have tested to date. And it'll be interesting to see how this brand fares over the years now that it's been bought out by Great Star. And hopefully, they still continue to make great tools. And if this tool comes in at a decent price, I can tell you I picked this up on a steal and a deal, and it really was a deal. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder. We'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.